economy was obviously one of the top uh, priorities. Uh, it's a broader uh, you know, dimension. However, we focus mostly on the waste uh, part. We, we had ambition to arrive at a general approach uh, in the beginning of the presidency, but seeing, let's say, the, the slow motion or less significant progress in the European Parliament, we decided to, to seek more clarity, uh, finding more you know, common grounds, uh, where we can basically um, get member states more, more, more closely to each other. And we uh, then uh, aimed at the progress report, uh, which was then finally adopted during the December EU Environment Council. We, we created um, also a series of events uh, around circular economy. One of it, uh, which is worth mentioning, is the Transition to Green Economy uh, Conference. I think there is a series, uh, again, of instruments and, and policy measures that would basically help this transition to more resource-efficient Europe and finally closing the loop. What we need is basically alignment uh, of policies. We need more coherence. We, we need more co consistency across, across all uh, sectoral uh, policies. And we, we need, of course, uh, uh, incentives as well. Uh, to, to create an enabling framework towards that uh, swift uh, transition. Um, I think um, I would also mention uh, uh, credible plans uh, that are basically uh, helping uh, this transition and, and all um, governments uh, who are really serious about a uh, circular economy uh, must do that without um, uh, further ado. Um, I would also bring in the dimension that circular economy is more than waste legislation. And we need to develop actually standards for uh, secondary uh, materials, secondary uh, raw materials. Uh, without that, it would be very difficult to be compliant with the uh, EU single market. Uh, another issue relates to the eco design or energy labeling uh, regulations. That we need to create again an enabling framework while promoting more uh, durability, more recyclability, more uh, uh, repairability. Uh, I think um, to help this transition we need to have an um, ambitious uh, circular economy policy that is basically uh, backed by um, uh, um, uh, ambitious recycling targets. Um, but of course they, they, need, they need to be achieved as well. And at the same time um, increasing the charges, the fees you, you to divert landfilling towards reuse and recycling is of critical essence.